Hi guys, welcome. Today we'll create an email sender with a good looking graphical interface. For the GUI, we'll use Flat framework, which is based on Flutter that makes it really easy to build modern, nice looking interfaces. Also, we send emails using SMTP loop module, which is safe and simple. But the tricky part is the password that we use to send the mail for Gmail. For safety reasons, we can't use the password that we use to log into the account itself. Instead, we have to generate an app password, which is a new feature of Gmail to be able to send mails through a third party app. So first we create a UI and then the functionality of the app. Let's get started. Install Flat via pip. Import Flat as ft and create main function that has page attribute. Page is an instance of ft.page, which is our root window. Let's set the height to 600 pixels and width to 550 and call page.update to apply the changes. Outside of the function, we call ft.app and set its target attribute to main function. Now you can run this script, but instead of Python, we run the app with flat, which enables hot reload feature of flat, and if I change the height to 400 and save the script, the changes get applied immediately. And we don't need to close and rerun the app for every single change. Let's create a class named email sender, which draws from ft.user control. I'll return a widget in its build method like a text widget. Then create an instance of the class and add it to the page. When admin is called, we don't need to call update anymore. Save the script. And there it is. Hello world. Now you can build the UI. First we declare soft as sender tf, which is a text field with a label from and height of 50 for the sender email address. Then soft as sender pass tf to get the password with label equal to password. Password attribute equal to true. Also set can reveal password to true. Now you want to return a column which its first control is a row with alignment of space between and its control are first sender tf and second sender pass tf. Let's scale the password field down, width of 200 and height of 50. Recall that this password is not the password of your gmail account and we need to generate an app password to be able to send email via a third party app that I show you how in a minute. Let's create a text field for recipients mails with label recipients and height of 50. Then create another text field named subject tf for subject of the mail and add them to the returning column below the first row that we added. And the main text field for body of the mail named self.maintf. Its multi line is true, so you can have multiple lines. Mail lines and max lines equal to 11. With this setup, we can now have multiple lines and scroll through the text field. Finally, let's create two buttons send button, which is a text field that says send, and its unclick is set to self.send clicked. Send clicked is a function that we'll create soon. Then clear btn, that is an icon button. Its icon is set to ft.icons.clear outline, and its unclicked is equal to self.clear clicked. Then create a row with alignment of star, which means they go to the left side of the page, and its controls are the buttons that we created. Create send clicked and clear clicked and pass them for now. The attribute is an event handler and passes some information to the functions that we don't need to use here but they have to be there, otherwise you get an error. Save the script to apply the changes. I don't like the icon, let's change it to delete outlined. Nice, the UI is completed and it looks good to me. Let's now write the functionality of the app. First let's do the clear clicked function. I want to clear the main tf text field when it's clicked. You can clear all the fields if you want. So self.maintf.value is equal to an empty string. Then we need to update the app. You can call self.update which updates the whole app, but to save performance, we only update the affected widgets, so we only call self.maintf update here. Let's save and test it. It's time to write the main functionality of the app. Import smtplib module and in sendClick method, create a list named recipients. And assign it the value of self.recipient.tf split it by comma. That means if you have multiple recipients, you just put a comma between them in the recipient text field and they all get added to the list properly. It can be a dash or a space. I'm okay with the comma. 
Let me initialize smtpsss. Its first attribute is the server that we use smtp.gmail.com and the second attribute is the port number which is recommended to be 587 for that specific server. Then we call s.starttls which encrypts the data. Then we log into the sender gmail using s.login method. The first attribute is the self.senderTF.value and the second one is the password which is self.senderPassTF.value. Then we create the message which is a f string. First we specify the subject by writing subject colon self.subjectTF.value. Then we put two new lines followed by self.maintf, which is the body. This formats the message and it knows what's the subject and what's the body of the mail. Finally, we call s.sendmail and set from address to self.senderTF to addresses is equal to recipients list that we created earlier and msg to message. And s.quit, which closes the connection. Oh, from addr should be the value of self.senderTF. Well, now everything is ready except the app password for the sender Gmail. To generate an app password, log into your Google account in a browser of your choice. Click this 3x3 three three dots icon and choose accounts. Go to security section, scroll down and find two-step verification. Click on it, click get started and here you have to enter your phone number and choose one of the methods of verification. Then Google tests your phone number and you turn the two-step verification on. When you turn it on, you can see this green checked icon that says on since a date which means your activation has been successful, then again click on it. Scroll the page all the way down, you should see app password, click on it. Here you can choose app and device and finally click generate. It gives a 16 letters password like this and you have to use this password to send emails with the app we just created or any other third party apps that you use. The application looks nice, modern and organized. More importantly, it works just fine. I've tested several times with the generated password and it hadn't any issues. If you face any error or problem, tell me in the comment section below. That's it guys, please like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel for more cool stuff. Take care, see you later.